I cried because it was a transformative moment, and I felt different. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. I'm Simona. I'm originally Italian, and my entire family, including my parents, are Italian, and they still live in Italy. However, I have been living alone since 2014. I embraced Islam in 2018. Everything started like it was impossible because I used to be a professional dancer and model. I was completely different physically and mentally, and there was a backwardness that I wasn't aware of. I cried because I felt comfortable and safe now, alhamdulillah. Yes, I became Muslim. I met my friend Sarah, who is a Muslim when she came to London. Through her, I learned many new things about Islam. When I met Sarah, I became curious about Islam, so I started watching YouTube videos and reading books about it every day. The more I learned, the more curious I became. I realized that something was happening to me. Then, I read a small book that contained all the proofs from the Quran. It was from this book that everything started. I was amazed at how these proofs from 1500 years ago could still be relevant today. It made me question if everything I had been doing was right or wrong. I started to feel scared about my life and whether I was on the right path. Before taking my Shahada, I started praying and following YouTube tutorials to learn how to pray correctly. I would watch videos and pray along with them, from Fajr to Asar and Isha. It was through this experience that I realized this was what I wanted and needed in my life. Afterward, I went out with friends and came across an Islamic stand in Leicester Square in London. An imam approached me and asked if I was Muslim. I said no, and he asked why not. I explained that I felt like a Muslim but didn't know what I needed to do to become one. He told me about the Shahada, and I took it. When I recited the Shahada, I felt something strange inside me. I cried because it was a transformative moment, and I felt different. From that day onwards, I started practicing Islam in every aspect of my life. I started wearing the hijab, praying every day, and learning more about the religion. Currently, I'm also learning Arabic to be able to read the Quran. I try my best to follow Islam and share it with others, especially those who may have misconceptions about it. I believe it's important to educate people and dispel any negative ideas they may have. My first Ramadan was challenging as it was my first time fasting for long hours. It was particularly difficult because I work in a kitchen as a chef, and the smells and touch of food made it even harder. Additionally, the kitchen gets very hot due to the ovens. I made some mistakes during the first week, as it was a new experience for me. However, I learned from those mistakes. From Ramadan, I understood that Allah tests us not just during this month but throughout the year. It's not just about doing good deeds in Ramadan, we should strive to do our best every day, every month, and in every moment. People often focus only on Ramadan, but we should aim to improve ourselves continuously. Becoming Muslim is not always easy for everyone, as families may have different opinions. However, it's crucial to remember that in the end, we are accountable for our own actions. We shouldn't worry about what others think but rather focus on our relationship with Allah. Judgment Day is a personal matter, and we should make decisions based on what is right for ourselves. If someone feels the desire to become Muslim, they should do it without hesitation, as we don't know how long we will live in this world. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe now for a daily dose of real stories.